Hi there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and here's my thought for today. If you're wanting to do something that's creative, to write a book or start a project, advocate for a cause, design a program, make art, or put something out into the world, anything that's at all creative, but there's this part of you that is really resisting. It's afraid and doubting and throwing up all sorts of roadblocks. Every time you try and work on the project, you just freeze or whatever. Here's my thought. It's hard to be creative when you're afraid because creativity is at its essence a vulnerable act. You're putting something into the world that doesn't yet exist and that is vulnerable. You're risking putting a lot of work and time and thought and effort and a lot of yourself into something that could be criticized or ridiculed or even defamed. And maybe you had plenty of that when you were young. Maybe you were different from other kids or from your family or from the perceived standards of your society's norms. And you got a lot of flack for that. And now you're com contemplating doing something that is intentionally risking bringing all of those bad feelings back. Of course it's going to be hard. And of course there's going to be a part of you that is intensely resisting feeling like that again. It's hard to be vulnerable when you're afraid. It's wired into our brains, into our nervous systems to not do risky things when we're vulnerable. So in order to do something that's creative, first you have to find safety. Do your creative work in a place where you are physically safe and remind yourself frequently that you are physically safe, at least right now. And you need to do the inner work of comforting that part of you that has had experiences in which doing something new and different and creative hasn't always gone well. You may not be able to promise that fearful part of you that everything's going to be fine, that everyone's going to approve of what you put into the world or everyone's going to love you for it. Especially if that's a countercultural thing or is something that you're doing is challenging the, the status quo. But you can reassure that part of you that you've been criticized before and you've survived. You've gotten through ridicule before and you know how to do that and you know how to do that again. I'm wondering what else that f a fearful part of you needs to hear. What would be reassuring to that part of you? How would they feel safe enough to start getting curious about your project and maybe even get on board with helping. Maybe they've got some interesting ideas. Maybe those interesting ideas come specifically from that place of pain, from the place of being countercultural, of being different. These are just some thoughts. I'm wondering if any of this is resonating for you. If you'd like to share in the comments, I'd love to hear that. If you want to keep it to yourself, that is great too. Um, anyway, I hope that you have a neuro-wonderful day.